Hey, joining me right now is Yelena King, and thank you so much for being here with me. It's really, it is a delight to talk to you. I know that you've had an incredibly busy and hectic day, and you have a hectic <laughs> life, um, and so taking a couple minutes to talk to me right now is wonderful. Yelena is one of the stars of the feature film Pocket Mouse Protector, and uh, I have asked her to talk a little bit about the character and about movies that she loves and who she is and all these great things. But I mean, today, my gosh, your day's been really intense because today you had a performance this afternoon at three o'clock, a Zoom performance, and then you went into a rehearsal after that. And now I'm grabbing you at the end of the day, you must be exhausted. <laughs> Always, but this is just how my life is in general. So why should Sunday be any different? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, so during the middle of the week, you're also you're working production. So I mean, mm -hmm. you've been working in studio production and and commercial advertising kind of work yep. for quite a long time, haven't you? Yep, yep. So I've been with Columbia Sportswear for two years, and uh, I've been working events for them, which is pretty much production just on an event side. But now I'm working in the photo studio, and so I'm doing production for actual photo shoots and video shoots for them now. So it's just a lot of logistics, a lot of coordinating schedules, and making sure everybody's on the same page, a lot of communication. And it's hectic, it's chaotic, but my job is to keep it as organized as possible. <laughs> And see, you know, and I got to tell you, I, I I absolutely love that. I love that. So, I mean, this past week, I've been doing all the scheduling for, for this movie and, you know, and making sure that the actors, my primary leading actors could commit to these schedules. And when there were some conflicts to, you know, make arrangements to rework, to make yeah. this work. And even though this is in June, I am finding that actors are already booked up with a lot of events happening in June because people, I think, are so desperate to get back out into the world. Whereas normally with an actor, you can give them a couple of weeks notice and <laughs> they're probably available, but that's, that's not happening now. Um, I mean, you even know your schedule in June, don't you? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. But I have to, I mean, again, just trying to keep so many projects juggled at the same time. It's like, as, as early as I can plan, I do. That's always just kind of been my way. So yes. it makes it easier that way for me. And part of what we're working around in shooting this film is that you're cast in a stage show, which has been in Zoom rehearsals for how long? Since what? Oh, June? gosh, I'd say April of last, March or April of last year. So, so it's been right in the right beginning. Year. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. So that's hopefully going to go up in the summer, at the end of the summer, if if we're back on stage. We'll see if the audiences want to come out at that point. Let's hope. Oh, I, I think they will. I mean, people I are, hope so. People are, getting, people are starting to go to movie theaters now. I, I think they'll oh, start I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So why not live theater? Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> We're here in Oregon and Oregon's, you know, there are a lot of people who are getting vaccinated, at least in the big cities in Oregon. Yep. Uh, um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, You've been the way that I met you is it was about a year ago. I saw you in rehearsals for a show that was going to go up last summer that got COVID canceled. Um, but I just I saw you and you were wonderful. You were just amazing. Thank you. In show. Likewise. And so so what's been so awesome during this past year is that you you in your planning and logistics and organizing, you kind of have gathered together a group uh performers um and so we're meeting frequently and often on zoom uh trying out new works and plays and all that you know it, it, how, what has this experience been like for you for this past it year is, it has been so cool because it's like i think being in quarantine while it definitely has its has its negatives as everyone will attest to um it gave a lot of us just a little bit more time, I think, to focus on a couple of things that we might not, we might be so busy in our normal lives that we might not have taken the extra time to do in the past. And so things like getting together with friends over Zoom and reading scripts that I had never read before, just to keep it, you know, keep our acting skills fresh or just to, just to have a sense of community still. 
it was so, it is still so much fun to do. And I would have never just sat down and read, God, how many think, how many scripts do you think we've read, Paul, at this point? Uh, well, it's, it's been at least one a week. And then one sometimes, week. sometimes with other groups, because there's more than one. Group right. On. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I've had three, three readings, three Zoom play readings, yeah. three different plays. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. So we're looking at what, maybe 50 to 75 scripts we've read over quarantine. That is, when would we have carved out that time <laughs> in our <laughs> lives pre-COVID? <laughs> I I would have liked to say that I would have, but obviously I didn't. So it's just been so cool. Also, just being able to do cold readings over Zoom, uh, it almost feels like prep for auditions coming up. Uh, it, it, it's given us a chance to, we're in a group um, that really trusts each other and loves each other and supports each other. So we get to try things that we wouldn't normally try. We, we get to, you know, read characters that we would never get cast for. Or we'd never audition for. We're just not, you know, what they're looking for, for those particular characters, but it's still so much fun to try and play. And it's just been awesome. Just having that sense of community and the space to, to do what we love to do, even when we can't do it in front of an audience. I have seen you play so many different <laughs> diverse characters and sometimes with these voices that are just absolutely <laughs> hysterical. So, um, so because of that, uh, you inspired me to write a character into this movie. So I wrote this movie for you, and I was so nervous. I mean, no, I was you so did not. nervous that you wouldn't do this part. I was like, <laughs> I was shitting bricks. I'm just going to tell you. I was like, oh, God, she's going to read this script. It's going to be too much. It's going to be too intense. Wait till she gets to the bedroom scene. Uh, and, you know, and so, so I'm sending you this text. I'm like, have you read the script have you read the script have you read the script and you're coming back saying oh i trust you paul and i'm like oh my god the shoe is gonna drop the shoe is gonna drop no 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 have you read the script <clears throat> no and i yeah i'm back back on campus back actually working a nine to five job on site again whereas normally when i was working from home i could carve out an hour or two of my day to look at a script and read through it and whatever and now i just i, I have to be more strategic and i just wasn't able to do it as quickly as i normally can and i just didn't want to keep you waiting so it just became yes paul of course i'll do whatever you tell me to do just you know what i'm comfortable with you know what i'm not comfortable with if we're, if we're in the realm then we're good like i'm gonna be a part of it and <laughs> Yeah, well, in this movie, so it's like, oh, right on the end. <laughs> I think we're really, really close. <laughs> oh, it's so yeah, it's so good. It's gonna be so so fun. I I'm I'm very excited to see the finished product. It's gonna be yeah, great. So I was talking to the costume designer. The costume designer is Becky DeLong, and she has done uh, three feature films for me before designing uh-huh. costume. So yesterday, she sent me the costume. Uh, layout the costume breakdown oh my little cat wants to say hi and and there's the scene in the bedroom where you're in the bedroom with me Mm -hmm. and you know and becky's comments you know becky's notes about what you would be wearing is well bra and a panties and i'm thinking i don't think elena's gonna go for that (laughs) i think we need something else right and so you know or if possible. Right, yeah, you know, and so the customer is coming back with all these other suggestions. I'm like, yeah, I think that's probably, you know, more more like what she's going to be okay, comfortable doing. <laughs> yeah. And I keep trying to assure you, you know, please let your husband know that, you know, it's all okay because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> My husband has always supported our relationship, Paul, always. So nothing well, to worry. Your relationship about with each other, or with you and I. <laughs> you and my, yours and my relationship. Okay. Well, yes, good. of course, his and my relationship also. <laughs> but. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so anyway, so you played all these different characters. You you played a character once where you were like, I think it was like this elf or a fairy. I can't remember what it was. It was a cactus in a little girl's like yes. imaginary friend dream. Yeah, I don't even remember what that play was. I have no it idea. was Mr. Marmalade. 
Right, right, yeah. that's right. Yeah. right. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd be willing to do that voice for us. <laughs> you put me on the spot now. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. I know. Well, they, they, they used to ask Mel Blank if he'd do the voices, you know, for Bugs Bunny and all that. And he's like, no. <laughs> so I just need to be a persnickety old man about it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If you won't do that one. So so I heard you performing this. Uh, this was in, uh, I can't even remember what play this was and it doesn't matter, but you had this character voice that I've talked to you about since that I envisioned for this movie for Pocket yes. Mouth Protector. Yes. Uh -huh. So I don't know if you'd be willing to give us a little sample. You want a sample before the finished product comes out, Paul? Yeah. Well, I don't what? know if that's really the best option at this juncture. <laughs> I mean, you got to keep some things a surprise. So the audience kind of has something to cling on to later. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> we'll see how many people I can offend with my terrible, like, non, non regional accent. Like, <laughs> no, no idea don't. what that is. <laughs> it's okay. Nobody will identify with it. So they won't be like, well, oh, that's not me. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh yeah so in this movie um in the movie your character is with that with that quirky interesting voice um you're actually brilliant you're a brilliant yeah. scientist yep yep and so and that's that's kind of the intentional juxtaposition there is that you don't sound like you would be this brilliant scientist and it's pretty uh, it's it's brilliant writing on your part honestly to have somebody who sounds like like she doesn't have two brain cells to rub together but she's creating this incredible you know medical um, breakthrough yeah this medical breakthrough that's going to change the world you know <laughs> it's just it's so funny it's brilliant yeah, it changed the world in ways that no one <laughs> ever right. it changed the world. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and the way that your husband treats you is, I mean, he is totally dismissive of you in so many ways. Mm -hmm. It's like they're in one of the early scenes, there's a baby crying in the restaurant and he tells you to go take care of it. <laughs> take care of it. I mean, what an asshole. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I mean, so uh, so your character uh, comes up with this virility drug um, that is supposed to restore men's youth, and the, and the idea is it's not like taking a a one time, it's not like taking a pill for you know good for six hours, right, uh, right, while lovemaking. It's supposed to be something that's like a permanent change, right, so that men now feel like they're sixteen again. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, if you double dose on this pill. <laughs> Here's the gay campy part. It turns you gay. Um, so that so that's the whole setup of what the movie revolves around, and then what happens to these men who suddenly turn gay, um, of which I play one of them, and uh, and David McMahon comes in and plays the other unsuspecting heterosexual male who suddenly turned gay. Um, so yeah, I mean it it's a hoot. It's a total hoot. It There's is. a scene in there where. Uh, the film has actually got a split screen. It's kind of like Zoom, <laughs> actually. Uh, yeah, it is. We haven't uh, had enough of this. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I, but I was inspired by this, by the movie called Ruthless People. I don't know if you ever saw Ruthless uh -uh. People. No. I know. It's before your time. You weren't born yet. Yeah. <laughs> I think it came out. <laughs> You'd love to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, um, so the deal is that the screen is split and the two people are talking to each other on the phone, but it's one continuous take of each person. And you'll see them both making the same kind of movements at the same time. So you have multiple scenes in this film. In fact, you're the first one that I'm filming of all these. So all of these other actors who are on these phone calls with you have to follow the movements that you're making. So I can just yeah. see you doing like all kinds I of crazy. I know. I've been thinking, hmm, what can I come up with that would look completely normal for my character to do, but completely out of left field <laughs> for anyone else to do? Can I just really throw them off with some stuff? What are we going <laughs> to? <laughs> just make 
make some frenemies along the way. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, it's fun. It's silly. It's totally crazy. So, yeah. 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 Good. So, uh, I know you've got more to do tonight. You're not even done for the day. Yeah. Always. Yeah. <laughs> then <Monday> comes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So thank you. Thank you very much for taking your time with us. Of course. Tonight. Of course. To talk to you. I'm so excited about making this movie with you. You just have no idea. I am just so honored that you asked me. And I just, t- t- till my dying day, it's just going to crack me up how nervous you were that I would not say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, you know, it, it's a crazy, funny script. And, it is. And it it, is. it's, I mean, it's, it is the height of gay camp. And I don't know how much gay camp you've been exposed to. Not very much. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to dive head first. Well, you're about to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so thank you. Thank you very much, Yelena. Thank you, Paul. Thank and, you. Uh, have a great, great week ahead. I'll see you, you in too. June. Yeah, I'll see you in June. <laughs>